Yo, what's happening guys? My name is Beastie and welcome back to the channel. You can already tell just based on my voice. I sound like a screeching tire. I, I sound like a machine about to explode. My voice, it's dead. I am sick. I am desperately sick. I've been having this. They're, uh, they're halls. I don't know what they do, but they make my throat feel icy cold, so it helps sort of. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do except sit here and die. But, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you would, subscribe to my gaming channel. Uh, that would mean a lot to me. And today... We are checking out a very, very strange video. Oh! That helped a little bit. Uh, we are checking out a video entitled 700 pound BBW model wants to be too fat to move. Poked on the look. You didn't understand that because I'm sick, I apologize. But basically, this video is about a woman that is 700 pounds, but she wants to be even fatter. How the hell do you get to be 700 pounds? That's a lot of Cocoa Pops, but she's 700 pounds and wants to be too fat to move in the actual sense of not being able to physically move. According to the description, uh, this is a 27 year old woman that lives in Texas. I mean, <laughs> America, America, am I right? Where else are you gonna find somebody who wants to be so fat they can't move? Sorry, I think the cough medicine I took has gone to my head but uh, yeah, for all of you that are not Americans, welcome to America. Let's check out this video and see why someone that's 700 pounds actually wants to go up in weight rather than go down. Let's check it out. <laughs> Weighing 700 pounds, supersized model Monica is morbidly obese, but she's got no plans to lose weight. The ultimate goal is to be a thousand pounds to be able to take up an entire seat like this one. I'd want to be the fattest woman in the world. Hold up. Did I just hear the term pounds, 1,000 pounds and goal in the same sentence? That shouldn't even be possible. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say they actually have a goal to be a thousand pounds unless they're talking about the load on a truck and trying to make a quota. And also you want to take up an entire seat. What? They, they, these aren't really goals as much as they are uh, plans on suicide. I mean, come on. You, 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 your goal is to be a thousand pounds and take up an entire chair. How is that a goal? What attracts me to being immobile is you get to be like a queen. Like back in the Egyptian ages, where like the fatter you were, the more loved you were, I guess. On an average day, I'd probably eat between six and eight thousand calories a day. <laughs> six and eight thousand calories? That's like four days of normal food for most people. Oh my god! The 27 year old has the assistance of boyfriend Sydney. Can you help me? Yeah, no problem. Wait, wait, you're telling me she has a boyfriend? Oh, oh, we found him. Ladies and gentlemen, the most desperate man on planet Earth. Sorry, that, 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 was, that was mean. I'm not smiling. I, I swear. That, 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 that was really mean. I'm sorry. It's a sickness. I'm sorry. It's made me a douchebag. To see Monica getting bigger just makes me feel proud because she's achieving what she wants to do. <laughs> I mean, of course, I'm not complaining. I've been into, you know, fat girls ever since I was, I've been into girls. So, you know, I'm definitely not complaining. You're not complaining, huh? Yeah, I bet you wouldn't complain. You say one wrong thing, she'll roll over on your ass and you're gonna die of, of asphyxiation. This dude probably uh, got in a relationship with her when she weighed 200 pounds and then she got fat and now she's threatening to roll over and kill his ass if he leaves. I I'm just saying, being into fat people's fine. We're talking fat is 300 pounds or below, but this is beyond fat. She needs her own area code at this point. So right now we are going to make a weight gain shake. Basically, I take strawberry Pop-Tarts. She likes strawberry Pop-Tarts. Heavy cream, ice cream, and 2% milk. Just blend it all together. Sid encourages me because, you know, it's my goal, and he wants to help me reach my goal. All right, babe, you ready to funnel? What the hell? Am I seeing this correctly? It's got to be some fever or something, and my eyes are, are tricking me. I'm seeing a dude funnel feed this lady a, a milkshake made of Pop-Tarts, ice cream, and cream. Why? I've never heard someone say they're going to funnel feed somebody that's not, you know, a human vegetable. He's going to funnel feed her a milkshake of... Uh, uh, I don't even want to think about how sick I would be if I tried to have that. I tried to take a V8 the other day. That was pretty bad. But this, oh my god, imagine! Alright, you gotta let me know when you've had enough, okay? I believe in you. 
I believe in you. I'm a creepy man. I believe in you, baby. You believe in her? There's nothing to believe in. We're not talking about you're climbing the world's tallest mountain. You're running the longest distance. We're talking about eating a lot of food. Oh, my God. Wow, I didn't know they made battleship-sized pants. I said that out loud, didn't I? I I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go to hell, I, I'm sorry. I feel so good. I feel like I'm in heaven right now. My belly is really, like, I mean, I'm still gonna eat more food, but <laughs> it's full right now. And I just, I'm like, really turned on right now as well. <laughs> Our sex life is really good. Obviously, we can't do every position in the world. But... Oh, I, I literally almost just gagged. Please do not mention sex life when I'm looking at your giant belly button in that stomach. Uh, oh my god, this is disgusting. I mean, he's over there caressing her stomach, and she just got through taking a milkshake of pop tarts and ice cream. Oh no, no, I, I can't do this, guys. You go in, you go in ahead of me. I'll follow you if the coast is clear. But I can get off just by him rubbing my belly button. And it's not just Sydney who takes pleasure in Monica's size. With a huge online following, she can earn as much as $600 for a photo shoot. So this is probably my favorite lingerie for Monica, so we're gonna go put it on and uh, model a little bit. Please, 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 do not show! Do not show this! I don't wanna see it! My tender eyes will be scarred for life. I don't have any bleach on hand. Please don't do it. I can't deal with this! I have what they call feeders, at least once a month. I'll have certain guys that will just send me money for food. In return, I'd like send them a video or, you know, pictures of me eating the food or something like that. You know, I'm the one laying next to her at night, not them. And it's her job. Why? I, uh... You guys think I'm overreacting, and I am a little bit because I, I you know, I'm kind of doped up right now in medicine, but I, I don't get it. Why? Why? You mean there's guys actually out there that look at this giant slab of meat and they're like, mm, baby, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a little bit of money if you do me a photo shoot. And she's like, oh, come on, why? While the couple's exploits are well known online, Monica's mother, Terry, is in the dark over the extent of her daughter's ambition. Hey, Sid. The ultimate goal is to like be like a thousand pounds. <laughs> really? Yeah. Even at my weight, it's miserable. Sometimes I just, I just want to go to the gym and just wish I could just run until all the weight's gone. It's your life if that's what makes you happy. I hate that attitude. Whatever makes you happy. I, I, I'm happy with killing kids in a school shooting, you know? I, I'm happy with blowing up hospitals. I'm happy with molesting children. I mean, just because it makes you happy doesn't always mean it's right. There's a certain point where you shouldn't be allowed to do something. And that's my thoughts on it. Just because you think it's fun doesn't mean you should do it. I see the struggles in her day-to-day -day life now. So to imagine her being bigger than she is now. 91 inches. 91 inches, oh oh my God. You were actually se se about seven, seven and a half, something like that feet tall, eh, but that's your stomach width. You were, if your stomach was stretched out, you would be taller than me. Oh my God, that, oh, oh, I feel so bad. It's very hard for me. It's very hard to imagine that. There you go. Close to 100. <laughs> I am worried about her health, but um, ultimately it's her body, it's her choice, not mine. If even if I'm not here, she's gonna, she's gonna do it. And you know, I love her, so I'm gonna help her out however I can. It's her choice, not yours. Listen up, you bitch cake. You're the one giving her all the food. Not only is it your choice to not give her the food, but you are making a mental choice to help her die. That, that's your fault. This is your fault that she's this fat. Because without you making the food and bringing it to her, she's going to have to get up, 
go down to Walmart or wherever, buy the food. There's no way she could be this fat on her own because she's going to, at some point, have to stop. There's going to be a threshold she can't pass, but you're helping her break that. What I like about the way Monica looks is that she's just soft and squishy and cuddly and I'm in love with her. I love the fact that she's a gamer. You know, I love playing video games too, so um, that gives us definitely something to, uh, to bond over. Yeah. We've talked about having children, and if we ever did, uh, we would definitely hire help, like a nanny or something. Having children, please don't put your kids through that. That's disgusting. You, you have kids, and then they grow up to see their mother being this fat, and then she dies at 40 or maybe 35. Don't do that to your kids. The things I'm looking forward to getting bigger is that there's just going to be more of it like everywhere more of it everywhere that that's a great way to describe yourself more of it everywhere if sid ever left that would that would suck it would be like impossible i guess i'm pretty sure i can find another man like instantly but you could find another man instantly uh no comment anybody can die at any time you know it doesn't matter if you're fat or skinny or I'm always going to love you. I'm always going to love you too. This is my life and this is the way I want to live it. Okay, I have no comment. That's 700 pounds, wants to be so big she can't even move. Uh, immobilized, that's the term you use for a battleship that can't move or a tank that's broken but not a human. I don't know, I I'm sorry. It's just, uh, it's incredible that humans like this make choices to be like this. It, it, I, I almost think people don't have enough stuff to do in life, you know? You have, you know, machines taking over a lot of the work that people used to do in the factories, at least in America. We have a lot of stuff like that that's making it easier for people to just sit on their ass. So what do they do? They come up with the goal to be overweight. And now we have people trying to accept them for who they are. If you feel pressured into changing, you're going to change. If you feel like you're accepted, what's the point? Nobody cares. You don't care. So to hell with it. You died 35 being overweight. No one's going to help you. It's okay. Incredible. I have nothing to say. I just, I, I wish that medicine could come up with a way to cure people like this, make them feel better. But at, I guess at the end of the day, if you want to do this, then go for it. Just, you know, don't have kids to screw their life up because that would suck if they see their mother die at 35 being 900 pounds. That's just, you should never do that to your kids. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry if I was an asshole. I'm just sick and I, I you know, I, I hate seeing people kill themselves because, you know, people actually try to do that. They try to kill themselves in a way that's creative rather than pull a trigger. But then again, maybe you have a different opinion on this. Maybe you think this is okay. Maybe you agree with this. Maybe you are this. I, I don't know. <coughs> maybe I'm sick and I don't care. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and peace out. I tell you what, I'm never gonna have chips again. Never ever again.